Hey fly fishers and photographers, if you're just tuning in, you've never been here before, you're probably wondering what the hell is going on here. Well, let me just tell you, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm into photography and fly fishing, basically not in that order. And uh, I'm very high on the Insta Ace Pro camera that was given to me late last year. Ding, ding. Yes, they gave me the camera. And uh, I've been working through some of the problems on that, and uh, those are documented in other videos, but um, it's a great camera. It, it's a GoPro killer for sure, and it's pretty much kind of swelling across the board. The only uh, drawbacks are people have so much invested in GoPro that they don't want to make the switch, but it's going to happen. Um, and the things I've learned, um, you know, I would trade you my GoPros for an Ace Pro right now and not even look back. But one of the drawbacks is focusing distance. It was really a highly reacted to thing at first and then things kind of settled down. And let me just read from this because it's so complex. Um, lots of controversy on the minimum focusing distance. That is how close does it focus right here is 33 inches. So that's how far I can reach. Was it in focus? Mm, I just I just wasn't very happy. So, uh, you know, I noticed that. So I've gotten through that with a filter adapter. Let me show you. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's the filter adapter. I sell those myself, made with a uh, um, 3D printer. And the filters by Vivitar. So we're trying to take this focus distance no matter what anybody it's it's really subjective people there are lots of different opinions some people say five feet which is what this is i'm five feet away from you guys to give you an idea what five feet is um down to 1.9 feet and so there's not much agreement on what the focusing distance is got this and that led to these these are the vivitar series one Vivitar Series 1 magnifying lenses, if they could call them that, and they come in uh, four different powers on Series 1. It's a 1, it is a 2, it is a 4, and it is a whopping 10. Oh, that's just great, that's fine, but what does 1, 2, 4, and 10 mean in practical distances? And that's what this video is about getting your distance right when you're out on the water and you want to do a sharp video shot that you can pull a still from with this camera i'm going to that later you can pull a still off of your video and make a good quality still photo that'll hold up to the internet you know it's not like you know super duper but it's really good i mean super duper costs money right we know that of course when I got these filters and I got this adapter, boy, I rushed off. This was in winter, last winter, and uh, right after I got the camera, put the wrong filter on and blew a whole day shoot on the Blue River in Oklahoma. Blew it because it looks sharp in the viewfinder, or the, not a viewfinder anymore. It looks, it looks sharp in the uh, back of the camera, but when I got home, it was off. And if you're off by a little bit, in my world, you're off by everything. It's out. No more. So, I had to figure this out. And what is spurring me to get serious about trying to get focus magnification with these Vivitar filters is I need to take more advantage of this great camera. That's number one. And ding, ding, ding. Finally, 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 in came... Insta360 Ace Pro Dome. Now, if you're not familiar with domes, that's what makes a difference in your split shots and your underwater photography. Believe me, that makes a difference. Here's the one that I've used for years uh, on GoPros. So this is what these crazy things look like. And there's the front side, whoop, like that right there. And then the back side, you put the camera in, watertight, and it gives you that distance that you need for clarity. So, that led me to this so that maybe I can get some close-up stuff going. 
the other reason I'm getting serious about this underwater stuff and and keeping keeping the fish on the water is because I'm trying to especially in this freaking heat in North Texas and Texas I'm trying to keep these fish alive and swimming and the only way to do that is that upside down yeah it's kind of upside down okay the only way to do that is by keeping them wet got to keep them wet guys this is time to keep them wet so it's always time to keep them wet but when it's this hot it's very important to keep your fish wet and get them back in the water as quickly as possible so I'm part of the keep them wet movement believe me it's going to be difficult if you look at my photos I've never been very good at that and it's a retraining of myself that's going to go uh, documented so you guys can see how that works um, as we go forward what you're going to see now is the breakdown of the distances using the fish for the different magnifications here one a zero I think I've got a zero on there it doesn't matter this is zero right here I guess five feet the one the two the four, and if you want to do some wacky photography, put the 10 on, see what happens. So what we've got to do now, is go through this, show you these guys close up, and then my next big move is making all this fit inside the brand new dome by Shoot Company. That link is in the description below, Shoot Company. I don't know where the origins are on that, if it's an independent company or not. I buy them off of Amazon. They're like between 40 and 50 bucks. The one for my DSLR is like between two and three thousand dollars. So, you know, big difference in pricing. 40 and 50 bucks, you can go underwater with a beautiful dome and a uh, GoPro or Insta Ace, Ace Pro, whatever, and uh, start shooting underwater and the split shots that people think are so cool. Well, we're going to uh, take a look at this video. Let me shoot, uh, sh shoot some other stuff. And then remember this Ace Pro also shoots, it goes from wide to 45. Let me, let me just show you how that looks. Let's see if I can make this work here. All right, let's see. <laughs> Barely a picture now. That's the difference. Is that cool or what? I think it's pretty cool. All right, guys, so let's take a look. See what the magnification distances are on the Insta Ace Pro. So we're gonna start with no filter because obviously you might not have any filters and that's why I go extensively in showing you distances in the no filter category for the ace pro what I found was 24 inches was a sweet spot for my camera what my eye showed me for no filter on the ultra wide setting now I just ran way through this because most people don't have the filters yet. Now let's get a look with the plus one that starts at five feet going all the way down to one foot and then I usually stick it in your face but it hits right here bang 14 inches much closer much more reasonable on ultra wide of course you lose it as you get closer. Now on the plus two, things really start to get interesting. We're moving down, moving down, getting closer and closer. Plus two, still not filling the frame, but boom, eight inches is about right. All right, plus four, getting, getting, getting tight, getting tight as far as focus. Look at the bulky in the background. Look at that, out of focus. And we're gonna hit it right there, four inches, people. All right, let's look at the number 10. On the ultra wide setting, I have to get really close. Look at the bokeh back there. Look at how out of focus it is. This is really wild. I'm getting down, bang, three inches. Amazing. Okay, guys, I hope this helps you get further down the road towards uh, 
catching fish and not stressing fish. Keep them wet is what I'm aiming for myself and in my catching of fish. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you hit like and subscribe, people. Especially like and watch the whole thing because, man, that helps so much. And if you know anybody else that could benefit from this video, be sure and share it as well. There's no law against that either. All right, guys. Hope this helps. Insta360 Ace Pro magnifications on the Vivitar um, filters. Check them out. Check them out. This is good stuff. And maybe next time we'll have fish on.